Hey, what's up, everybody? Back with another video. Y'all keep forgetting where the camera is. <laughs> but I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be a little different than the videos I've been shooting. I'm going to be answering someone's question. Somebody wrote in and asked a question. Listen, y'all, I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the shares. I appreciate the inboxes. I appreciate the book purchases. I appreciate all of it, you guys. I just appreciate you taking the time to listen you know, to what, what I'm presenting. It, it really is a blessing. So I thank you for being a blessing. But the question I'm going to answer today is, well, two parts to it. Number one, why did I write From Stagnation to Transformation? And then number two, what exactly is From Stagnation to Transformation? I'm grateful for both of those questions. And let's start with the first one. Why did I write From Stagnation to Transformation? First, you have to understand from stagnation to transformation was a five to seven year journey. And you might say, Cliff, it took you five to seven years to write a 21 day devotional book. It did. It really did. And it wasn't because of the complexity of the literary project. It was simply because there were situations in my life I did not want to face and address. And this book was requiring me not only to face and address it, but take responsibility for the roles I played in it. It wasn't allowing me to play the victim anymore, even in situations that I may have been victimized. It was requiring me to exercise victory over those very situations. So it was causing me to mature and grow up and walk in my purpose, and I wasn't feeling it at all. See, purpose causes you to be uncomfortable. It will pull you out of your comfort zone and stretch you in ways that you've never been stretched before. And anybody that works out understands that, you know, anytime you do a new exercise, it may work muscles that you aren't even aware that are in your body. That's the same thing with purpose. Purpose will pull upon things in your life that you didn't even know were there, whether it be positive things or things that are not so positive that need to be worked on. That's what purpose will do. That, that's what this book was doing to me, and I was running from it. I became a fugitive to it. Why? Because I was a prisoner to my past. I was a prisoner to my hurt, my pain, my disappointment, my rejections, my fears, my anger, my lying, my jealousy, my envy. I was a prisoner to all of those very things. But my purpose was attempting to push me beyond all of those things. So fast forward a year and a half ago. Two years ago, I guess it's rewinding and fasting forward, but um, I was teaching Sabbath school and I was talking about cycles, destructive cycles in our lives that were hindering us from fulfilling the will of God for our life. Isn't it funny how sometimes the very lessons you'll be teaching or the very things that you'll be on a platform to present or the very things that you're struggling with yourself? And one of the things I said in that teaching was that in order to destroy a cycle, you must interrupt that cycle at its power source. But the only way to interrupt the cycle is to do something that contradicts what that cycle represents. And when I said that, it was like right in the midst of the teaching, I had an aha uh -huh moment, one of them Oprah moments. And I realized that in order to fulfill my purpose, I had to take the first step of completing this book. And it might seem like something small to everybody else, but that was major for me because I struggled with completing things. I, I was a great person at getting things started, but there was a struggle with me at times with completing things. And when I finished the book, it was, it was, oh my God, it was just like one of the greatest victories in my life because I realized that something that was not comfortable to me, I was able to conquer. And I conquered it. We wrote it. It's been blessing people. And it's just the beginning, y'all. Y'all stay tuned because we have some stuff that's coming up that is just humbling to me. It's hum I, one day I'm going to be able to tell the whole story. When I can tell the whole story, man, you will understand just how awesome and powerful God is in spite of me. Yet yeah, in me. You feel me? What exactly is From Stagnation to Transformation about? Basically, I said it in what I was talking about as well. It is designed to provoke you 
to, feel, to fulfill your purpose, to walk in your purpose, to understand that there is greater in you, as the Bible says, than he that is in the world, but greater than greater in you than what you have been giving uh, yourself. You have it inside of you. It causes you to stop searching for answers outside of you and understand that you have wealth, power, and authority inside of you. It makes you tap into that dominion that God has given to each and every one of us to reign in whatever sphere of influence that you are called to reign in and whatever assignment that God has given you in the midst of your life, it causes you to tap into that. So many times we look for answers externally that we overlook that which is inside of us. So this book causes us to deal with the low self-esteem, the self-hatred, the anger, the bitter, everything is causing you to deal with all of those things, face you and unlock, allow God to unlock those hidden gifts, talents, abilities, and treasures that are deep within you. There's wealth greatly inside of you. And this book is designed to redig those wells because they've been smothered by whatever, whatever it is that you've been going through has smothered that great wealth that's inside of you. This book is designed to dig it up. Now understand this book will work for many, but some it will not work for. Why? Because the book is not the answer. This is not the answer. You can, live, you can read this, you can listen to it on audiobook, you can do all of that. But if you stop at the listening stage or the reading stage and you don't apply the principles, then nothing will happen. And you'll be mad with me and you'll want a refund and you'll give me a bad review. But the reality is, it's in our hands, y'all. We have the power. We have the authority. It has been given to us. It has been given unto us for us to unlock what is inside of us. So no longer look with no longer look externally. Understand it's inside of you. You have great wealth inside of you. And my prayer for those that read this book, I daily pray that God will unlock those dreams that you once dreamed. That he will unlock those prophetic words that were given to you that now the cares of life have caused you to forget those visions that he has given you. And even how some of us have put a shortcut on what God has called us to do. This book will require you to go back to the original blueprint because there will be no success until you get back to the original blueprint. And some of you might say, well, what do you mean? What do you mean? You might feel as if God called you to open up, I don't know, um, tambourine stores around the world. But because now you're going through and your finances aren't where they want to be and don't seem as popular as you once were. Now you've decided I'm just going to open up a tambourine store in my hometown and where I live right now. That was not the original blueprint. God is calling you back to that original blueprint to understand that, yes, the vision is as large as it once was. But now, as, as I said before in a teaching, you have to dare to dream again. You have to go back to that childhood sometimes. In a workshop, I cause people, close your eyes. Go back to when you were a child. When you didn't have the cares of life, you didn't have the bills, things weren't as stressful as they are now. That situation didn't happen to you that you feel changed your life completely. What was it you wanted to be? And it's amazing what you hear. You hear doctor, lawyer, teacher, a superhero, so many things that these adults say, that's what they wanted to be. And then I ask them, okay, what was it? Or what is it that's stopping you from being that now? This book is to let you know that you can be that. You can be everything that you desire to be, everything that you were created to be, you can be. The only person holding you back from it is you. This book will challenge your ideology your psychology, and your theology. That's what this book will do. If you find yourself at a crossroad in life and you, you, you just feel like there is greater, you've had success, you know what success is, you may have money, you may, you may be financially set, but your emotions are just, oh, I mean, they're just tore all the way up. You may be emotionally stable, but financially, you just can't seem, no matter how much you bring in, it seems like the more goes out. You may be disconnected spiritually. You may not be walking in your purpose from the spiritual aspect of things, but you may be doing great with your business. You may be doing great with your career. This book is for you because we need balance. We need a balanced life. Why? Because posterity is important, not prosperity so much, 
but posterity so we can pass it down from generation to generation to generation that we can give them the tools that they need so that they can be successful and dare to be who they were created to be. Not who we may desire for them to be, trying to live dreams through them, but who they were created to be so they can fulfill their purpose. So today, that's basically what this book is about. As I said, it's going to challenge you. It is going to challenge you. It's going to make you mad. It's going to make you frustrated. Trust me, it made me mad and frustrated while writing it. But in the end, if you hold fast, apply the principles, take these 21 days and start to begin, start a motion in the midst of your life. And sometimes it may take longer than 21 days. Can I be honest with you? I still go back and read it. I still go back and read this, not because I like to read my read what I wrote, can I be honest with you? I go back and read it. Why? Because there's times I need to hear once again what was written, not because I wrote it, but because of the principles that are inside of this book. So I encourage you, as I said, purchase the book. It is available in paperback, Kindle, and audiobook. It's available on Amazon. If you would like a personal signed copy, you can contact me directly and I'll make sure you, I get you the information on getting that. And it's also available in audiobook on Amazon, Audible, as well as iTunes. Thank you for listening. And I pray that you have a blessed day and that you will walk in your purpose.